everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing fabulously well I've missed you all so much if you just seen my last video I just did like a little catch-up did this makeup look I literally filmed it a minute ago but you would have seen it a few days ago or a week ago whatever I just basically wanted to sit down catch up with you all and then get back into creating the content so Today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul of kind of all the stuff I got for holiday. I actually really wanted to film this before we went away and like unpackage them all and everything. But I just didn't have time. I'm not going to do a try on haul either today because there's a few bits that, I mean, I talk for England. So I'm going to talk through them all. There's quite a few bits to show you. And also I'm uploading pictures on my Instagram of everything I wore on holiday um, so you actually get to see the other things I took with me that weren't necessarily new because I've tagged them all so you can like find them that way and you also get to see what they look like and whatnot so make sure you follow me on Instagram I will um, pop that on the screen for you now and then let's get started with the haul <laughs> a majority of my stuff actually came from I saw it first they nailed it for my summer holiday when i ordered it was 50 percent off and i got so many good things um it meant i could do a massive shop and then send back the bits i didn't like and still have quite a few nice things to take on holiday so i i had a drama finding stuff for holiday basically i wanted some high waisted shorts i went to top shop um, and got some mom shorts because I like them when they're loose around the leg. I've got quite a big bum, hips and thighs. So um, finding one that would fit my waist and my go over my bum and my hips was just a nightmare. I even sized up in Topshop. The still didn't fit, didn't look right. So in the end, Nasty Gal pulled through. And they had amazing deal on as well. They were also 50% off. So I got these like such nice, comfortable really good fit shorts for 14 pounds which is just mental so these um were my light denim that i picked up um i feel like you know you can't go wrong with a pair of light denim shorts didn't actually wear these on holiday in the end but i took them with me and they're just the perfect denim they're super comfy and they're nice and s well <sighs> They're a little bit big around the waist, but with a belt on, they look fine. They've got pockets. They're a really nice length. They flare out, so they're not stuck to your leg, which means you don't get too hot wearing them. Sorry if I look super shiny, by the way. I am, I am really hot right now. Um, but yeah, I just really love them. And I picked them up in black as well, which I'm actually wearing right now. Let me stand up and try and show you. These are the black ones anyway. You can see they're nice and loose around the leg. I've got pockets, god this is awkward, and um, they're actually properly high-waisted as well. They are a bit loose um, round the back, but I just stuck a belt on with them, and they were great. I love these, they're super comfy, and also because they're a little bit baggy, have room for your food, baby. You've got to think about these things on holiday. You're going to be having cocktails, you're going to be having food, you're going to be having ice cream. You need room for all that to sit so yeah really love those and the fact that they were 14 pounds was literally amazing i kind of got sidetracked by my shorts didn't actually plan to go with those first I was going to talk you through my airport outfit this isn't the exact one but the other one's in the wash i basically got this little bralette thing i the one i wore to travel in was white but this one is a black one and it's from primark it was two pound fifty it's so comfy it's stretchy it's got a nice little bit of lace detail around the bottom not sure if you can see that um and also it's supportive because it's got the normal top bit this is really hard to show you the normal top bit and then underneath there is another layer for your boobs to sit in and that is like elasticated around the waist so let's try and show you a better way that's like the under layer and then you drop the top layer over that wow i really am making a hash of this and that was it basically it's pretty much a double layered bralette which means you don't really show too much nip you know only if it gets a bit cold it's comfy it meant i didn't have to wear a bra to travel in which was amazing and i have relatively big boobs and it supported them it was comfortable so I love that and for £2.50 you can't go wrong. Um, because I love it so much I picked it up in black and also picked it up in white with little black polka dots on. That one I wear to bed 
for my pyjamas because I love it. Also to go with that, I just wanted to be super comfy. So I bought some black trackies, really hard to see. Um, I'll try and pop a picture on the screen actually of my Instagram photo of wearing this because it's really hard to show you these particular items. But these were from... I think these were from Nasty Girl as well actually. They were £8 and they're just like normal black trackies cuffed at the ankle. You can tighten them at the waist with the string. Oh, so comfortable. I live in these now when it's not really hot. They're just seriously the most comfortable tracksuit bottoms I've ever worn and they're actually high-waisted. You know, if you're a fellow big hip girly, um, you know that high-waisted isn't really high-waisted if you've got big hips but this actually was and I could pull it right up so I didn't actually have any of my stomach out because where the lace of my bralette was it met the top of my joggers so I was just super comfy and yeah the best airport outfit ever then I also oh where's that gone got some new shoes in Primark basically I love the Balenciaga triple S's who doesn't they are beautiful um just like the really chunky trainers but I clearly didn't have a spare 600 pounds or whatever they are. I've been looking for dupes everywhere and I just haven't found any that are nice. And I then went into Primark and there were these really nice trainers that kind of reminded me of, not necessarily for the colour scheme, but just for the shape and the chunkiness of the sole. Really reminded me of them. And I had a look and it was 14 pounds. I was like, oh my God, that's such a good price. And then I flipped the label over and they were in the sale for seven pounds. I was like, right, that's it. I have to get them. So this is them. They are really nice. I love them. So they're just like black. This is kind of like a really pale off-white grey. The white and then obviously hints of pink and a tiny flash of mint green. I actually love the colour scheme of this. And um, it's just the sole that's super chunky and just really reminded me of the Balenciaga style. They were quite comfy, although they're a little narrow on parts of the foot, and I think that's just because of the shape of the sole underneath. Um, but, you know, I was fine. I wore them for a four and a half hour flight and walking through the airport and then the other side when we got there and everything, and they were, yeah, they were fine. So, love those. Absolutely buzzing about my little dupe find there. And then to complete my airport outfit, I just picked up a long line, um, sort of like midi maxi black cardigan. It's got like little gold button details on the sleeve and it is super long. Ugh, can't show you. Again, you'll have to see in the picture. This was from Primark and I think it was about £13. It's a nice thickness. I get really cold on the plane, but the only long cardigan I had was like a really thick chunky knit and I was like no that's going to be too hot especially when I get to the other side so I kind of wanted a happy medium and this is perfect because it was not too thin not too thick um and just completed the outport outport airport outfit chic I'm not sure if it's chic just you know kind of stylish loungewear vibe um and then I also took this top on there which I've kind of like folded up today and tucked in because I like it in a knot to be honest but I just took this on the plane so I could chuck it over the top if I did get really really cold um which I did do at one point but um only for the last hour so I really wasn't too bad but yeah I love this I think this was six pounds this was from I saw it first and I have worn it loads since coming home as well in fact I think I'm going to get it in black as well because I love it that much obviously I spoke about those bralettes and I said that I had a polka dot one for my pajamas I picked up these really light um floaty pajama shorts the the material is super thin um which just meant I didn't get hot Again, these were from Primark. They were £3.50. How good is that? So my whole pyjama set for holiday was six quid. Insane bargain. Yes, please. I'll take ten. But they're so comfy. Really nice and loose fitting. What more can I say? Love them. And they're polka dots. I'm really into polka dots at the moment. So when I was holiday shopping, obviously on holiday it's hot. So you don't want to have loads of layers or anything that covers you up too much and there's loads of cute like bardo tops and stuff but my strapless bra I had was absolutely rubbish made my boobs like point outwards and made me look like Madonna it was not a look so I wanted to invest in a new strapless bra 
Um, I'd seen one for a while by Wonderbra. I'd heard really good things about it and I really wanted to get it, but it was like 45 quid and I was like, oh God, that is a lot of money just for a bra. And then James and I had a day out and we went to um, a shopping outlet at Braintree in Essex um, called Freeport and we went into the Wonder Bra store there and they had them reduced to £30 I think I think it was 30 or 32 I wanted just a plain nude one um, and they were 30 but they didn't have that in my size so I had to get the one with it's still nude but it's got a little bit of white lace on which I didn't really mind because as long as it's a light colour and you can't see through my clothes, I didn't care. So this one was 32, but it is so comfortable and supportive and makes your boobs look good instead of weird. Like, I don't know if you can see, but on the inside it's like moulded, literally as if there's a hand supporting your boob. It is so comfortable. So if you're looking for a strapless bra, I would seriously recommend this. It is called... Now it's not going to say it on the label, is it? But I will find it and I'll link it down below. I'll link all of this down below anyway. The other good thing is on here... I don't think you're going to be able to see, to be honest. Or maybe there's like lots of little clear bobbles and that helps it grip to your skin so it doesn't slip down and you're not forever pulling it up. And then this bit actually sits under your boobs, which gives them a lift. So it does sit quite low down. Um, but oh, it's just literally the best strapless bra I've had. It was so comfy. Um, and I felt really supportive like I was wearing a normal bra which is great because I hate forever having to like yank them up that's not what I wanted at all so yeah really glad I spent the money on that because it meant I was able to get some really nice holiday bits and not have to worry about whether you're going to see my bra straps or not. Now, I think I'm going to move on to accessories. Oh, actually, I'll show you my airport purchase quickly. So I wanted a new concealer. I've got the collection concealer, which I love, but one, it was a little bit too light for me, and also it's quite thick. So I wanted sort of a bit more of a lightweight concealer. And when I first got into makeup, this is one of the first concealers I ever tried, and I had kind of forgotten about it, and I don't know why, because I love it. It's really lightweight, gives quite a nice glow, to be honest really good coverage I just love it it's the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer and I picked mine up in the shade light so as I got more tanned on holiday I just literally dotted a tiny bit under my eyes because I didn't want to obviously like look washed out and really pale in comparison to the rest of me which still worked fine which is great because as my tan fades I'm still able to use this concealer so super happy I got that and obviously airport duty free so I got a little bit of money off. I also got my nails done for holiday. I'll show you these quickly even though they're disgusting and grown out. I'm literally going to get them done tomorrow but I wanted the kind of you know pastel different colour on each nail sort of vibe. Um, one because it looks cute and also it goes with every outfit so you don't have to worry about like the colour of your nails. Really easy decision on which colours I wanted to use just the order to put them in it took me ages. I literally got the whole nail shop involved. I was like, do you think I should have this here, this here, blah, blah. And everyone was like, oh yeah, have that, do that. Oh, I thought I was making my life easier, but I love them. So I'm really happy. When we got back from holiday as well, I actually had a nightmare about me going to get my nails done too early. And then I was really upset because I didn't want to change the colour of them. Which is ridiculous because I could just get the same colour again. But yeah, I still got them. They're growing out new ones will be on soon but yeah I've really loved those so I figured I'd show you those quickly right anyway accessories first things first quite boring really but just hair clips these little hair clips are from Primark you get a pack of three and I think it's two quid so good for doing a bun right I'm not very good at buns and this has helped me massively made it so easy you literally I'm not going to do it now oh God, I should because I'm bloody boiling. But you literally tie your hair up in a ponytail, wrap it round, and then at the back, you just clip this on and it keeps your hair in place and your hair doesn't get tangled around a, a thingy and you can easily adjust it. So good. Love them. Really glad I bought them. Right, now I really am moving on to proper accessories. So mm, I didn't actually buy these for my holiday, but I really want to show you them because I do really like them. And that is a pair of earrings. Now, I'm not really an earring kind of gal, to be honest. I hardly ever wear earrings, apart from the ones on my double helix. But yeah, I hardly ever wear earrings. But on holiday, I was really fancying like gold jewellery, 
jewellery think that looks really good against the tan kind of takes your outfit to the next level accessorizing it i literally usually only ever wear my rings which I haven't even got on today and um, my watch um and that's it i hardly ever wear a necklace either to be honest but i wanted to take earrings and i wore them every night not these particular ones but i wore earrings every night and i loved it so now i'm totally into earrings but these were like my super glam big statement earrings oh wow how cool oh, imagine if these were glasses wouldn't that be awesome wait oh my god i need oh, i look like gretchen wiener anyway getting way distracted it's because i've got freckles too anywho so these are just gold hexagonal hoop earrings i got them from asos i think they were about six pounds something like that i can't remember um, I hope they still do them, I did get them a little while ago, so I will link them down below if they do, if not I'll try and find very similar, but I love them, now they are heavy so I did only wear them once because my ears were sore let me tell you, but I just love how they look and they're a bit of a statement because of the shape and the size but they're just like super simple classic gold earring these other earrings I got which I have worn the most since I got home and I think I wore the most on holiday too uh, <laughs> I love them. They're from Primark. They're just these little wooden hoops with kind of a gold button um, above. They're just like, yeah, my little dangly earrings. I like these because they go with everything because they've got, you know, like the wooden tones and um, yeah, just look super cute. So loved these. They were two pounds in Primark, but I got them in the sale for a pound. Best pound, uh, pound I've ever spent love them so much and then i had one other pair that again i got from primark i think they were two pounds and they were just it's like that sort of shape earring that everyone's loving at the moment but they're a little twist on that because they're more rounded and less square and they've kind of got like a snake print pattern on almost but yeah just these gold little hoops i actually wasn't 100 percent sure on them when I first bought them but i put them in one night and i loved them so really happy that i got those show you cute or what okay this is going in this is staying for the rest of the video i think i'm literally getting shinier by the second because it's so flipping warm so damn hot oh see they're just cute i love them it's so hot i'm gonna have to oh setting spray lovely this oh no now see i said those wooden pair were my favorites but also so were these might put them in now to be honest got these from primark as well primark are coming through with the earrings i mean don't when don't they to be honest but it's these little hoop ones again gold i was seriously on the gold hype instead of them being just like standard hoop earrings they're almost like a flat disc and they've got kind of a aztec -y print on them I love them. These are really light as well and really comfy to wear. And um, yeah, I just really love these. So I'm so glad I got those. Wore well, those one night on holiday too. Can't believe I forgot about them because I think these actually are my favourite pair. No, these in the wooden. Oh, I love them all. Another thing I got from Primark, again, two pa- Oh! Again, two pa- Oh! How rude! I've lost the back to that one, right. It's a sign. We're switching you out, hun. So, yeah, the other thing I got, I think this was £2.50, actually, and I wore this one night, was this gorgeous headband. It's kind of like, um, oh, no, what's it called? Pleated! It's pleated, and it's got polka dots on, and just, like, a little gold chain, which tied in perfectly with my jewellery. Um, and I literally just tied it around on top of my head with my hair up one night. Made it super easy for like looking like I've made effort when it took me five minutes. And I actually paired it with these earrings as well. I just love it. I think it's so cute and it looks so nice. Especially as it's got that sort of pleated effect. And it feels really good quality. So I love that. Um, again, pictures of this are on my Instagram. So if you want to see how I put it on properly, then go check it out on there. Um... Oh, the only thing I find with these tie ones is they like move around on your head and I tried to clip it in place It still really didn't really work. So if you've got any tips for that, let me know, please Okay, this is kind of boring, but I just felt it was you know helpful travel bottles Primark do them for a pound You get a whole pack and I popped there's a couple of squeezy tubes a couple of little round tubes that you can put like Moisturizer and stuff in and then there's a sort of a rounded squeezy tube like this And it was just so handy for me to put my purple shampoo in because I had a big 
bottle or I have a big big bottle so I just was able to pump some into here and take it away with me and it also came in a little clear bag that you can then keep it in in case anything leaks and whatnot and they were literally a pound so I figured I would mention those because they were really handy another boring but thing you definitely need to know about these earplugs I get seriously bad airplane airplanes um pain in my ears on aeroplanes and if I don't have these plugs I cry I um it's happened to me every time I thought oh I won't bother with them this time and I've burst into tears on the plane and it's really embarrassing so if you suffer from pain in your ears when you land or take off or whatever these little earplugs right they're a bit gross because they're I have worn them no it's fine there's no earwax um they just literally look like this these are just the boots I own brand you just pop them in your ears like before you take off and then about 20 minutes before you land well they say you can keep them in the whole time but I find them quite uncomfortable because I've got little ear holes it literally stops the pain stops the pain I hope not it stops the pain um sometimes I've had very slight pain but completely bearable you can hardly feel it these are actually amazing and they're five pounds these are the boots ones but the actual branded ones are called earplanes and yeah i always get mine from boots they always have them in there and they're usually a, about a fiver so if you suffer from ear pain you should definitely get these another thing i got was this little um travel bag set so this was the big bag so cute it's got like little fruit all over it it's a bit grubby now but i just liked the idea of having a clear bag so i could see all my makeup in it it was easier to find but i could get a lot in there i could also fit my big palettes in there and stuff so yeah and then with it it came like a smaller bag probably this side that was just completely clear and had this color on the top and then an even smaller one which was about this big and it's just that was solid and it had this kind of colour and I was able to just you know fold up my boarding pass and pop that in there and I had my earplanes and my headphones in there so it was just really handy for travel for makeup the smaller one I put all my liquids in and it was like the perfect size same size as the liquid bag that you can then take through customs this was from Primark and I think I want to say it was seven pounds but it may well have been five but you get all three for that um so yeah love that it was a really good price and I'm glad I've got that in my um cupboard drawer whatever um for when i travel in the future because it was really really handy now on to the fun stuff clothing i mean i've shown you a bit but more clothing actually i'm gonna start with these shoes oh oh do i mm, oh god decisions yeah these shoes perfect holiday shoes go with everything so gorgeous super comfy really on trend at the minute they look like the castagna wedges but they are a third of the price um i got them from Lindsay shoes and they were 25 pounds um they're nice because they're not too high they're the espadrille wedge and white just goes with everything doesn't it on holiday to be honest um and it's got that sort of like natural look as well like the natural colours so again goes with everything super handy and these just tie up around your ankle I love them they're gorgeous um, and I'm so glad I got them from holiday from holiday for holiday a bag for the evening again I wanted just one that I could take that would go with everything um, and all my shoes and everything so I picked up this bag from Matalan I absolutely love it it's gorgeous again super on trend at the minute the round straw bags um, it's just got like a little tab bit and you can get quite a lot of stuff in there there's a little zip or a pocket at the back to pop your lippy and all your handy bits in and you can hold it like this or there's a long strap to put it on your shoulder or across your body this was um like i said from matalan i really really love it um i think it was meant to be god i can't remember no, this isn't an absolute lie. I don't know why I just said it's from Matalan. Total lie, it's from Primark. I'm really sorry about that. I got another bag from Matalan, which I'll show you in a bit. <sighs> so, this is from Primark. <laughs> Whoops. I think it was £10, but yeah, I just really love it. Like I said, like, look, it goes with my shoes perfectly. Um, and just went with every outfit, because it was just that natural holiday kind of vibe. And I could get plenty in it if I needed to. So yeah, I just love that. So glad I have that in my wardrobe now, to be honest, because that is going to get a lot of use. This is the bag I was on about for Matalan. I love it because it's still kind of that straw vibe. It 
to the side and the front it's just the back that's solid it's got a long strap to go across your body a short one to hold your handles and then it's got like gold hardware on i just love it and it was only 16 pounds which is amazing anyway but again i went in and it was in the sale and was 12 pounds i think but i love it it's just a really nice size and this was like what i used as my carry on for on the airplane and i got everything in it that i needed to this is the little wallet that i was on about and this is also the other one that comes in the set that i popped all my liquids in so yeah absolutely wrong way absolutely love this bag this is my everyday bag now as well i've used it every day since love it one final accessory and then i'm moving on to beachwear is this belt i got it from i saw it first it looks super cute in my um shorts and it kind of just dresses up and adds to any outfit and it is this double ring gold black belt um basically looks a bit like a gucci belt to be honest but it was four pounds so i got it um and i needed something to pull my shorts in at the waist um but look really nice and it went with like my gold accessories and everything and i really love the gucci belts but seeing as this was four pound i just couldn't resist so yeah it's really good quality as well like the actual badge on it is kind of like a brushed gold and it looks really really nice so i love that super happy with that moving on to beachwear i needed a few new bikinis to be honest because mine i have had forever and i saw this and i absolutely loved it obviously neon is massively in at the minute um and i'm a, a little bit or a lot of bit obsessed with neon orange so when i saw this bikini i was like yes i have to and it's a mix so it's oh hello it is a mixture of neon pink and neon well it's actually called coral but it's quite an orangey coral it's so lovely i just love it it's my favorite bikini ever in the whole world looks great against a tan as well like if you look at these colors next to me even though we seem to have gone a bit washed out and weird woo anyway yeah um just looks so nice next to a tan and um the bottoms are like this so they're pink at the front and coral at the back and then the two colors tie together really comfy good quality bikinis i think i paid about six pounds for the top and six for the bottom something like that i can't fully remember to be honest but i just love them it's my favorite bikini so i saw it first definitely killed it with the bikinis because i picked up this other one again kind of on the neon vibe um but it was like a tie-dye one this time like how gorgeous is this print it's got like the pinks oranges purples a little bit of yellow i just loved it and this was more of a high-waisted one i don't know if you can see there's like it's a lot longer in the body and it's quite nice because that was high-waisted and it was a really flattering kind of part of the body where it finished um and again i think these were about six pounds each um again the top was just like a little triangle tie one i find these are the best for my boobs to be honest um any like proper bra style ones my boobs just don't fit in them also the best for like minimal strap lines so i always undid it at the neck and then i just had like the little triangle bits over my boobs and this round the back so yeah help me not get loads of crazy strap lines as well um and i just love them but yeah they're really comfy really nice quality and really good price so what, what more could you want i bought this beach cover up i actually got this ages ago like as soon as we booked the holiday we went to um lakeside for some shopping and i picked this up james bought it for me actually but it was just this little beach cover up again i hope you've got your sunglasses on because this is definitely neon look at that whoa look at that glow and that glare mm -mm. but yeah it's just a really nice um beach dress really thin and light so you don't get hot it's got like this kind of little i don't know stripy triangle pattern on it's got like this rope to pull it in at the waist and tighten it and it's just got like a crossover kind of thing at the front and then this is along the back it's just really comfy i pretty much wore it most days to be honest i really um love it and it's just a super cute color and this was five pounds how good is that to go with that i went into primark a separate time and i saw these flip flops they look a little bit dirty and worn now so excuse that but they're these i just thought they were perfect for the beach um i didn't really wear them out in the evenings or anything these were just like my beach slash swimming pool flip flops but 
it's a good old Primark 90p flip-flop. Everyone needs them. Everyone probably has them, to be honest. But yeah, I just thought this was nice because it goes with my um, beach cover-up really well. And they're, they're comfy and they're 90p. I also picked up a white pair for if I wanted to wear flip-flops in the evening. And I did also pick up these, which I didn't take on holiday in the end because I felt like three pairs were a bit excessive. You know, I've only got one pair of feet. Two flip-flops was quite enough two pairs of flip-flops I mean um so yeah but these are just like a nice little pale pink and my favorite print so obviously I had to pick them up again 90p something that saved me and James throughout the day was my mum bought me a chili bottle for holiday one of the best things I've ever been bought ever one look at this amazing color matches my nails this is so good i think this is the 750 ml one and it literally kept our water cold all day which was so nice because isn't that the worst when you're so thirsty and you drink some of your water it's gone warm oh i hate that but yeah this kept it as cold as it was when it first went in because that's what they do but yeah it was amazing and um we were literally every day like oh my god it's so nice to have it so yeah definitely worth getting one of these Wow, I have not shut up. I'm so thirsty. I'm glad I filled that up before showing you guys that. But yeah, I think this is £20, but I don't know because mum bought it for me, bless her. But yeah, she got one too in like a baby pink colour and she took hers on holiday um, and loved hers too. So yeah, these are a lifesaver. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So I have to show you this. I got this on Groupon. It was £7 and it is a towel that turns into a bag. It's insane. So it's really hard to show you, but it's a towel basically. And it's also got a bit at the top, which hooks over the top of your sunbed. I don't know if you can see, it's like a little pouch. So this hooks over the top of your sunbed so it stays in place. And then on the side are these little pockets so you can pop your sun cream and your book or your sunglasses on in sorry um whilst it's on your sunbed but what's amazing is you fold it all down i literally just like roll it up basically to the other end and you tuck it in the pocket at the other end and there's a little handle and you kind of just make sure that's out obviously make sure everything's tucked in so you've got a little zip one end you literally can zip it up there's room to store things in it as well, like there's all this space. And it's a bag, but it's a towel. It's the coolest invention ever. You can hook it on your shoulder. It's actually long enough to kind of go across body. And this was my beach towel. It was so handy. I could literally chuck my book, my sun creams, and my bottle of water, carry it all to the beach, unfold it all, store it in my pockets, and I was done for the day. It was really, really good. So I would definitely recommend these, especially if Groupon still have them for seven pounds. We're getting there, guys. There is three things left. So I only wore this once on holiday, actually, but I saw it in the sale. I popped into Topshop to return my shorts that, you know, it annoys me because when things are designed for just one, oh, I'm not even, it's a whole other rant. I'm not even gonna get started. But I returned my shorts, um, and I saw this in the sale and I loved it. It was seven pounds and it's kind of like a ribbed crop top, sporty vibe because it's got this, this is actually like a band around the bottom that's stretchy. So it fits you properly, you know, it's not loose and gaping at the bottom. And it's just says girls all the way around it. And I just really liked it. So yeah, it was in the sale for seven pounds and on holiday I just teamed it up with like a khaki denim skirt when we went out um on a boat trip one day and it was just yeah really good loved it so i really like this i just think it's a bit different i don't really have anything like it in my wardrobe and for seven pounds from Topshop, that's pretty decent now this one i bought for holiday but i didn't actually wear it in the end so i'll show you what it is first it is this one shoulder again you can need your sunglasses sorry i forgot to give warning then this neon super bright yellowy green it's a high um comes up high what's the word high leg that's it like thong type one and i thought wow that will look so cool just with my black shorts look really good against a tan and i was so excited to wear it however it is quite see-through i don't know if you can see how see-through it really is like you can't see my hand through it no you can't see but i put my strapless bra under it and unfortunately you could see all of this lace detail 
so I couldn't wear it in the end but I'm definitely going to get another one of those bras in just plain nude anyway and then I can wear this because it's just such a nice easy thing to wear but just looks super cute um, and the material of it's really nice it's just a little bit thin so you definitely need just a plain nude bra underneath this one but yeah so I'm looking forward to when I can wear that and last but not least is my absolute favourite thing I bought for holiday I love it so I said I'm obsessed with polka dots as you well know and you may have even seen Lucy on Love Island wearing this actually because I noticed she wore it one evening if you watch Love Island of course I just assume everyone does because pretty much the whole nation is obsessed with it but there are some that don't but yeah it is this really gorgeous satin polka dot play suit it is so cute it's got like a little tie waist belt which looks really nice and it's like a ruffle layer so these are the shorts and then it's got this ruffle layer over the top which again great for disguising the food baby was fab um and it's just yeah nice and light it's just a thin spaghetti strap i just love it it looked really really pretty again looks like you've made a lot of effort but it's literally one item of clothing and you're ready and i did pair it with these and my straw bag again go on my instagram and you can see a picture of this in action because it's really hard to show you it right now but this is really lovely quality like I said it's a nice satin um, and really well designed and I think I got this for about 15 pounds but they've um, bought out loads of colors of this now so if you don't like the polka dot there's loads of other patterns and colors um, of this style and I'm seriously tempted to buy more because I love it it just is such an easy nice thing to wear so deep breath I need to go and have a rest I don't think I've done that much talking in however long um but yeah that is my haul of all my bits that I got for my holiday I hope you really enjoyed this video I've been excited to show you all um let me know your favorite piece down below if you're going on holiday this year let me know where you're going I want to know so I can look and see if I can book a holiday there too <laughs> because I've got holiday blues no but seriously let me know um if you're going on any summer holidays and where you are going because holidays are exciting aren't they so I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love for you to join us and I'll see you in my next video